Good morning, Dornbush down load number 37, getting closer to the half century, Dowie. Who would have thought it? Andrew, Michael, Dornbush partners, and what an exciting morning it is here, the uh, post-budget blues. Um, what do you make of the budget, Michael? Oh, look, Andrew, well, I guess they're, they're sort of calling it the have-a-go budget. Uh, certainly none of the fire and brimstone uh, that we saw last no. year, um, which, uh, you know, brought the government under enormous pressure. And, Including the Prime Minister. Yes, <laughs> and virtually, and, and of course, virtually most of that got basically stuck or, or, or canned in the Senate mm. altogether. So this budget, yeah, certainly a lot friendlier. Um, small business and families look mm. like probably the, the, the big winners at this stage. Which is great. Um, yeah, so some money being thrown uh, into those areas. Um, a, a bit of a process, of course, now, a um, bit of, uh, bit of uh, political headbutting and there'll be amendments and changes. But all in all, uh, yeah, I, I think, Andrew, at face value, of course, we haven't had a heap of time to, to digest mm. it all, but um, um, it look, looks reasonably positive and uh, certainly small business probably uh, the, the, the biggest benefactors by the, by the looks of it. So as you touched on, you know, families are a winner and so that's around childcare. So companies like say G8, mm -hmm. uh, GEM uh, is the code, or Affinity, AFJ, they're probably the two main winners in that space. You spoke mm -hmm. about small business being um, a winner mm -hmm. and uh, not only in that sort of drop in the corporate tax rate, mm -hmm. but also around that $20,000 write-off, mm -hmm. uh, an immediate write-off. So, you know, companies like um, JB Hi-Fi, companies mm -hmm. like Harvey Norman, mm -hmm. um, to a lesser degree, maybe a mile, that's probably a bit of a stretch. But anything that's sort of involved in that side, they're going to do pretty well. Share market's up about 20 points at the moment. Mm -hmm. So market seems to be taking it in its mm -hmm. stride. But you're quite right. It was really uh, lots of sugar, not a lot of medicine in this one. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I agree with you. You know, I wouldn't be taking it all is red because mm -hmm. it's got to get its way through the budget uh, through the Senate rather mm -hmm. probably the other exciting thing is Dan just pointed to before mm -hmm. hi Dan mm -hmm. was um, you know we spoke about no changes to super yeah, yeah. you know and that's a really important thing mm -hmm. because you know you're I mean a quarter of our clients are self-funded retirees mm -hmm. as we know a lot of them are actually out there helping their kids and their grandkids out on you know out west with mm -hmm. their school fees and whatever mm -hmm. and if the government decided to tinker with franking credits and all this other nonsense they were talking about before yeah. that would have had a huge impact not only on our clients but also on the broader markets as well so yeah. really pleasing to see they didn't do that. Yeah absolutely particularly on the back of Labor you know sort of bringing out their proposed outlook for super and how they you know would it reintroduce a tax on earnings uh, above 75000 this was flagged a couple of years ago the amount was a little bit uh, generous so mm. actually a couple of years well, a little bit more generous so at 100000 um, but yeah dead right Andrew um, um, I think there's a, a, a big sigh of relief um, for, for a lot of superannuants out there. Um, age pensioners, uh, well, some some segments of the age pension, um, you know, area are going to get hit a little bit. That uh, that taper back of the uh, the assets test, that upper limit of the assets test, uh, that will mean that you know some will drop off the the radar as far as the the age pensions concerned. Also, too, um, I just had a quick read before. Interestingly, there was a um, there was a little. Um, window of opportunity, I guess, where people went into uh, aged care homes and they rented out their principal place of residence. Okay. Uh, the rent wasn't included as income by Centrelink, but, they're now, uh, <laughs> but they're now unfortunately looking at that. So um, a couple of windows are closing, as they always do. Uh, sure. It's a bit of a juggling act between who, who gets some dough and who misses out. So, uh, But all in all, share market wise, certainly super wise, yeah, it's a, it's it's a great we, got, we got away pretty well unscathed. Mm -hmm. um, and we've mentioned a few shares and we're running a bit short on time today, but any shares in particular you'd like to briefly cover off on? Yeah, Andrew, just um, looking at uh, Slater and Gordon at the moment, SGH, uh, the legal firm, um, you know, uh, personal injury, uh, they own Trilby Missile Lawyers as well. Um, uh, about 70 offices here in Australia, 12 in the UK. Uh, recently put in a, um, a proposal to buy a UK firm, uh, Quindle. Um, around about $1.2 billion. Wow. They raised just under $900 million through a, through a, a rights issue. 
going to borrow the rest. Um, but balance sheet, very solid, debt to equity levels at about 40%, not a great dividend payer. Um, so we're looking more for share price growth. Um, and it's come off a fair bit, hasn't it? It was like close to the nines, it's now yeah. back in the sixes, so it's had a, a pretty big pullback. That, that's right. From a technical point of view, back under the 200-day moving average, so you could you could sort of look at that as, as reasonable buying, and that's one that's probably yeah, more of a growth-orientated stock, not a great dividend payer, 1.6% dividend yield. So if you're after dividend, probably not the one for you. But uh, certainly, uh, if they can get this UK acquisition to work, mm. some good growth prospects. So it's not a blue chip, it's more an emerging leader, but it certainly has the potential to grow. But obviously, if they don't integrate well, they've yeah. overpaid, cultural issues, whatever the case may be, yeah. there's a fair bit of pain going to be coming. So, But that's yeah. why you're getting it at $6 and not at 9 Absolutely. Yep. So that's the market's right. already sort of factored in some of that risk already. Mm. So again, crossing fingers and toes, if they can get it right. Might be some good upside there. Excellent. Mm. Anyway, guys, till next time, thank you. Thank you.